I keto fied five salad dressings and they don't include mayonnaise or ranch. Let's go! Our five flavors are lemon poppy seed, chimichurri, honey mustard, ginger tamari, which is like a coconut aminos, and pomegranate, believe it or not. I will explain about pomegranate later. Now, every one of these are delicious. Your nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. Let's get into those recipes now. I'm going to be using these little glass containers to store my salad dressings in the fridge until I'm ready to use them. To make a lemon poppy seed dressing, which will go with chicken or fish, to a container or bowl, add one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, one tablespoon of avocado or keto approved oil, one tablespoon of poppy seeds, and one teaspoon of sweetener. Mix to combine, and then it's ready for use. We are first going to make a simple syrup to mimic a honey flavor. So over a medium heat, add two teaspoons of sweetener and two teaspoons of water. And when the liquid starts bubbling, let the liquid swirl around so that the sweetener can melt. Do this until the liquid is reduced to about one tablespoon. Turn off the heat, then add two tablespoons of avocado oil, two tablespoons of lemon juice, a half teaspoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Then turn the heat back on so all these flavors can combine well and prevent the sweetener from crystallizing. Serve lukewarm when you're ready and this is how it looks. Next up is a chimichurri dressing. So add two tablespoons of fresh parsley that's been chopped and one tablespoon of fresh cilantro chopped or coriander. One teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of onion powder and for heat I'm going to be using this very hot chili pepper. Just a pinch and you can use flakes or a powder if you like as well. For the liquids add one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and three tablespoons of avocado oil then mix to combine. For a ginger tamari dressing, I'm going to be using fresh ginger, finely diced and just one teaspoon, one tablespoon of sweetener, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of tomato puree, one tablespoon of avocado oil, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and one tablespoon of tamari sauce or whatever you use for a soy sauce substitute. For this pomegranate dressing, I'm using a no sugar added juice because the macros are is almost the same as other berries. We're going to turn this juice into a molasses. So over medium heat, add three tablespoons of the juice, then one tablespoon of lemon juice and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Let that simmer for a few minutes so it reduces and stir so the garlic powder dissolves. When it has reduced and thickened, turn off the heat and add three tablespoons of a keto approved oil. Give it a stir to release the pomegranate molasses, let it cool and then it's ready to serve. Do ensure that you use unsweetened pomegranate juice or a pomegranate molasses that hasn't been sweetened and surprisingly enough I found that the macros are almost exactly the same like a strawberry. So we can have pomegranate on keto within reason. I purposely didn't add any of these dressings to a salad because I want to leave the choice up to you. Obviously with the ginger tamari you get a bit of an Asian flavor and the chimichurri has a bit of chili so you would know exactly how to pair that up with your other salad ingredients. I hope you get to try them and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.